Now it says, keep praying for my son. He never wanted to leave Memphis, but Penny told him he wanted a whole new team. And that team didn't consist of Tyler. Man, what is going on? They're lying to you about Amani Bates. Now we all know by now, Amani Bates has been arguably one of the most popular and really most talented hoopers in high school basketball that we've seen in a minute. This dude winning Gatorade player of the year, really exceeding and dominating high school competition, playing against top hoopers like Mikey Williams and a lot of the top programs. And of course, going to Memphis where things have been a disaster to say the least. Now, it's not to say there weren't good parts of this season, but for sure, I don't think this is what Amani Bates pictured when he was going to college basketball. And now with this season basically being over and Amani Bates just recently announcing that he's trans transferring and of course putting his name into the transfer portal leaving memphis there's something no one is noticing about this dude man and they're lying to you about amani now number one amani has been in the gym working on his game and i think there's something super important that a lot of people really haven't talked about specifically with his game now amani of course standing at around 6'9 and definitely being more of a skinny build i think a lot of people would like to see this dude at least put on a little bit of muscle and there have been some recent Instagram videos taken of this dude in the gym lifting weights trying to get stronger and I think it shows you how much dedication this dude has to the game now number one him of course really a day or two after declaring and saying that he's about to leave doesn't take any time off gets right back in the gym and starts working on things that he can improve so that when he does go to a new program that he can be super effective on the court but what's super interesting about that is there's actually a list of programs that Abani Bates may actually be interested in. And number one, many people are actually even stating that Amani may be leaning towards going to Tennessee. Now, the list actually includes a ton of schools like Baylor, Alabama, Oregon, USC, Texas, Ohio State, Auburn, Arkansas, Michigan, and Kentucky. And these are solid programs, but I think Amani really has to focus on number one, going to a place where he can immediately make an impact. Definitely being on Memphis was an opportunity for him to make an impact, but I think things just didn't work out, and that's what happens sometimes in the game of basketball. But to say that Amani is not still a great player or that he's just an average college player, I think is just not the truth at all. Number one, even if we take a look at his numbers in high school and who he was playing against, he was still playing against some of the best competition that has gone to college. A lot of these guys that he's played against have gone to college. And and remember this dude being a pretty young hooper as well i think it may just take time for him to gain that confidence basketball for sure is mostly a mental aspect a mental piece of the game and for sure there's definitely physical aspects to it but number one is mental and for amani bates he just has to make sure that he has that confidence and fits into the program plays for a coach that really puts that confidence in him and believes in him and i think when these things start to connect we're going to see that same high schooler that we saw Amani Bates that Gatorade player of the year that Sports Illustrated being compared to people like KD LeBron James even Jason Tatum in the very near future now I would say the biggest problem with Amani Bates going right to a new program is the fact that he had an injury now we all know he did actually come back from that injury but at some point he was suffering from a back injury that actually kept him out for 15 of their games and that's for sure a lot of games and I think the biggest issue that Amani Bates could have is if he does continue to get injured or is this some type of chronic injury if that is I think for sure this can definitely slow down the growth and how fast he's re really able to turn things around get to a team where he can play well and then get to the league because that's definitely his end goal and for sure we know his numbers didn't look the best coming and playing at Memphis he was only averaging about 9.7 points per game three rebounds and about one assist which those for sure are not matching up compared to what the expectations were now are they terrible definitely not but for sure he has a lot he's gonna have to work on if they're really gonna be taking him seriously as a top overall pick in the NBA draft
Now, what's even crazier about this entire situation is this Memphis team and Amani Bates teammates. Now, number one, many of you guys know Jalen Durham. He is actually just declared for the NBA draft. He was another top prospect. He played with Amani Bates in high school, came with him to Memphis, and now he has officially declared for the draft. So in my eyes, this dude is definitely not returning. He's played super well throughout the season. So I think for sure he's going to be gone. But what's really crazy is another hooper on their squad named Tyler Harris because he just put out some information that looks very suspect. Now we actually put this out on Twitter and it says, in life, there are several choices and decisions you have to make. This one was not mine, but many doors close for a reason. First NCAA tournament, and he was basically thanking his squad and everyone and all the fans for playing there. But him stating that the decision was not his seems very weird to me. Now, we all know, of course, Penny Hardaway and the Memphis program are definitely getting violations right now for violating some NCAA rules that were put into place. But it's super weird to say for him that the decision was not his but he's basically being forced to leave the program so i definitely think there is something going on with this for sure now if we scroll down in the comments there's actually a tweet here and again this is alleged but this was in a facebook group and it says this now it says keep praying for my son he never wanted to leave memphis but penny told him he wanted a whole new team and that team didn't consist of tyler man what is going on Penny Hardaway wanted a whole new team. Amani Bates decided to leave. Jalen Durham declared for the draft. And Tyler Harris is leaving. Man, this seems super suspect. And this person seems somewhat related to him. But if this is true, man, what is going on with this program? Because if he wants everyone to leave, of course, maybe he wants to reconstruct the team. And he didn't like how things were operated. But man, this dude Harris is for sure a buck. I remember watching him in high school as well. He's definitely a talented player. But man what is going on with penny hardaway and memphis now one thing i will say is it partially does make sense if you don't have the best type of season for the coach wanting to rebuild the entire team and especially when you have those two highly recruited guys jalen durham and amani bates pretty much leaving the program guaranteed as of right now i doubt amani's going back and jalen for sure is going to get drafted man it's in a it's definitely a tough situation for him but a lot of people also believe amani bates is a hundred percent going to college which necessarily may not always be the case of course there are other options Amani Bates does have as of right now he for sure could also go somewhere like the G League go and hoop try to play there and then make his way to the NBA which might not be a terrible move because of course the G League knows and definitely recognizes the type of status and how good of a player Amani Bates was in high school they saw the games that he played when this dude was dropping 30 40 point games they followed him for sure and it was definitely an option on his list but again we know Amani initially decommitted from Michigan State back in the day to go to Memphis so who knows Michigan State could definitely be another option but I think people just limiting it for him going back to college may not necessarily be the case now he also could technically take a year to just train develop and work on his game maybe take the Kyrie Walker route but as you guys know you've seen what happened with him so far it doesn't seem like that was necessarily necessarily the best move. Now, Kentucky basketball also has another super popular recruit, Shaden Sharp. But did you know he has to leave Kentucky after this season? We'll click the video to find exactly why that is.